Hey yo everyone, welcome back to the Terraria 2020 Olympics contender rounds. You guys thought I forgot the year is almost over. We gotta finish out the Olympics, but we still have to see who's contending for it. So for today's event, we have a volcano right here. It's very, very tiny, but this volcano right here has some power because this volcano is gonna erupt all over this area while our NPCs are on the layer of snow and the last NPC standing is the one that's gonna be moving to the final round and that that final round then we'll choose who goes to the olympics because we're gonna have 16 npcs competing for that one spot in the olympics so it could be anyone's game really we're gonna spice it up a little bit by adding in a bunch of landmines here and there even though they'll probably all get exploded by the volcano and speak about the volcano let's go ahead and just show it off here boom we go ahead and activate it and look at this so this will randomly determine who's gonna fall into the lava first and who isn't but it is completely random so whoever makes it it just is randomized there's not a lot of skill involved here and especially with the landmines being everywhere that can take out an npc you know it's it's gonna be even more random so let us go ahead and see our contestants today some of them we've seen before some we haven't i don't know i'm kind of running out of npcs to use here for the next npc olympics we're gonna be going back to vanilla npcs because by then team mod loader for 1.4 should be out and we got a couple more npcs to work with but let's go ahead and see who is in this contender round but first a word from our sponsor today's sponsor is the ridge wallet this light and sleek wallet easily fits into your front pocket without having a weird bulge like old leather wallets do the ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards in cash there's also a ton of different colors and designs to choose from you can choose designs like carbon fiber and woodland camo the team at ridge is confident you'll love the wallet so they'll let you test drive it for 45 days you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it since the wallet is made from a durable material it comes with a lifetime warranty meaning you could buy this one wallet and carry it for your whole life i've been using the ridge wallet for around a couple of months now and without being overly dramatic it has been pretty life-changing many times i've had my old leather wallet bulge and slip out of my pocket when i sat down either in someone's car or in public but ever since i switched to the ridge wallet i've never had that problem happen to me so what are y'all waiting for get 10 percent off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders link will be in the description and comment section let's hop back into the video starting with our first npc here we have the martian npc from the useful npcs mod the next npc we have here is the hunt master from the juice mod next up we have the confused zombie from the thorium mod and we also have the druid from the thorium mod we have our landmines randomly placed we have our npcs randomly separated let me give them like a good like area separation here hopefully they don't move too much but let us begin the first round let's get right to it before they start moving around now i believe if they do get hit by the landmine i believe it's an insta kill but i guess we'll see if one of them hit a landmine there's gonna be a lot of times where they're gonna be saved so let's see what happens it looks like no one's in the landmine yet so the npcs they're gonna try their best to survive i've seen npc instincts come in where they try and like hover on the highest block but sometimes they're just stupid it's terraria npcs what do you expect we've seen so much from these dudes you don't know what's gonna happen but as we can see the martian the top left he's got the high ground now don't think that he's just safe because of that because i've seen this volcano in action a bunch of times in testing and i've seen them take out npcs who i thought were safe easily who i thought were taking the w and they would just knock him out but honestly it's looking like the left side is super safe compared to the right side that right side is getting awfully low oh a double kill from the mine you hate to see it so now we're just watching the left side until one of these npcs falling oh the diver gets hit as you can see nobody is safe but the martian's been pretty safe until now oh he barely barely didn't get hit by that one there's a lot of open area now any bomb can end this if the martian gets hit by one bomb i think it might be over if the diver gets hit by one or two bombs it's also over we just need a very limp bomb and there it is and there is the dub he's not burning fast i don't know if i left a mod on that makes him take less damage from lava or what but we have a clear winner in the martian he's been super safe but look how close some of these bombs are getting they're after him but congratulations to the martian you are going to the final round all right moving on to the second round here we have the caveman npc from the caveman npc mod 
Next up, we have the Spiritualist from the Thorium mod. After that, we have the Arc Wizard NPC from the Mini Boss NPC mod. And last but not least, we have the Desert Acolyte also from the Thorium mod. All right, we have everything set up again. Let's split up the NPCs a little bit here. And I'm honestly surprised that the NPCs got hit by any landmines in the last one. It's usually rare during testing. But of course, the most exciting things happen on camera when it matters the most, right? Kind of. That is how most of the time it happens. But let's see what happens this time. We see, we're seeing the NPCs on the left come towards the middle, which is very interesting. The diver did have a high success rate. The second place is pretty high, but the diver did end up lo losing being in that area. But so far, the person who has the highest ground right now is the Desert Acolyte. Now, I'm rooting for the caveman just because he looks really funny looking. He also makes funny noises when he takes damage. Uh, so I'm kind of rooting for him. I also kind of want to hear him take damage now at the same time. But it's looking pretty even on both sides besides the Desert Acolyte, but he may be joining very soon. Some bombs are getting really close to him. But look at that left side just getting taken down. They just, they're just sticking together they don't want to move the desert acolyte i see him inching higher up trying to take use of that high ground that he has and the caveman is very very close to stepping on a mine very very close oh is getting oh the desert acolyte also dropping down the left side is getting close to the lava this is crazy this is anyone's game not really at all there's definitely some advantages over the other right now but uh the left side they're literally on one block both of them are on one block oh and they're out of here see you later so now we just have the right side they're pretty close to the caveman trying to talk to the desert acolyte but i'm pretty sure he does not know english it's a little bit of ooga booga is probably what he's saying oh but look at this they're both on the same block now so it is anyone's game i guess we can see the whole left side is just decimated but the right side there's still a lot intact one bomb can make this anyone's game if they both fall in the lava at the same time it's whoever dies first whoever's name pops up first is the loser whoever's name pops up last from the death is the winner and moving on oh my god how did that not drop him this is it right here oh my god they're survivors everybody i can see whoever wins this they're gonna go deep here goes here goes whose name is first the desert acolyte's name popped up first meaning he died first and that means the caveman is moving on to the final round congratulations moving into the third round here we have the rare creature collector npc from the mini boss npc mod next up we have the tracker npc from the thorium mod we also have the cook npc from the thorium mod a fan favorite and last but not least we have the shooting star npc from the useful npcs mod cool npc name well the actual name is kind of whack but shooting star sounds cool all right let's go ahead and make sure everybody's got some good distance in between them just to keep it fair and let us begin the third round my money is on the cook i like the cook he's always showing good effort in the npc mod videos so let's see what he does here today i'm hoping for another mind kill because mind kills are always funny but I, like i said it's honestly a rarity so it's surprising that we got a double kill in the first round from one mind but let's see who's gonna take it today the cook should be careful he's got some open Open minds around him never mind they're all gone but let's see who takes it see this is my favorite thing about this volcano is that it's so random oh we have a death the shooting star npc was killed by mine rest in peace but the randomness of the volcano makes this such a great event damn we have another death to a mine the cook oh my god the fan favorite cook is gone rest in peace gordon ramsay that wasn't his name but let's pretend it is anyone's game here they're both pretty much in the same level on the same level of verticality uh that's about like what seven eight blocks from the bottom oh the npc on the right gotta be he has to be careful that that mine is pretty open oh man they're trying to inch him down onto that mine the mine has been a killer this round so i'm kind of scared for our npcs that remain oh that mine is open if the rare creature npc takes a step to the right is over oh but he got saved he got saved but he's on a very small island now is looking very dangerous they saved him from the mine but will they save them from the lava oh my god what a clutch step there he was literally a block away from dying oh my god he's still dead anyways but there you go our winner for the third round is the tracker npc it was honestly look look at the right compared to the left it's just completely destroyed on the right side and the left side he, he still had a lot of time for our fourth and final round here we have our first npc the builder npc from the useful npcs mod after that we have Draydon, not from calamity but from the useful npcs mod after 
after that we have the terraformer npc from the solutions mod and last but not least here i'm assuming is gonna be a fan favorite over rattles magoo we have squeaks the squirrel from the fargo's mod now squeaks he looks smaller so i'm assuming there's gonna be an advantage there but let's see what happens all right and we are ready to begin our fourth round go ahead and begin best of luck to all npcs specifically squeaks please make it to the final round maybe i have to do some uh some rigging to make squeaks make it into the final round i don't know we'll see but let's see what happens here now the amount of mines that i place every round completely random i don't count them out or anything i literally just place them and uh if one side has more mines than the other then oh well that's how it is but as we can see the left side looks like it's getting destroyed a lot quicker which God, it has me feeling scared from my boy squeaks but the terraformer finding a nice place to stand that's usually a good area to stand it's very close okay spoke too soon i guess as she's getting knocked down the right side looking very calm i want to see some more bombs on the right so let's hope that happens maybe i'll put my cursor over here more to the right and the bombs will go over there i don't know but we haven't seen a mine kill yet the left side is looking dangerous very very dangerous but our npcs are still safe so let's see what happens if i'm gonna be honest squeaks positioning is not the safest he can go at any second honestly if a good barrage hits him he's gone i'm noticing that our npcs on the right are infused with each other so uh let's hope that those guys are chilling over there i don't know they honestly might be the last two it might come down to the wire with those two but our left side also might come down to the wire squeaks you gotta change the position man you're, you're kind of scaring me oh my god squeaks almost got hit hey they're kind of getting leveled though on the left side they're gonna be nice and leveled to each other so it's literally anyone's game oh that bomb right there squeaks no poor squeaks went to the bottom i honestly i i think squeaks might be the first to go squeaks i had high hope in you oh my god rest in peace squeaks it legit is anyone's game oh my god the terraformer might be taking this the terraformer is taking this you'll love to see it not really i wanted squeaks to win but congratulations to the terraformer you're going to the final round so we have our final round here one of these npcs is continuing into the npc olympics now you may be questioning why i'm only choosing one when in the first contender round i chose four and then the next contender round after that i chose two is because there's only supposed to be eight npcs in the olympics i don't know why i allowed four of them to pass in the first round whatever so we got everybody all split up here let me just make sure I split them up a little bit i made the number of mines even there's 12 on each side let's do it let's see who's going to the npc olympics right away the caveman almost getting knocked into a mine very very scary there now who i hope is gonna make it oh my god we have a double kill on the right side now who i hope makes it is the caveman because the caveman is funny he makes funny noises i like him he's unique uh but will he make it i don't know there's honestly a high chance now it's 50 percent because the npcs on the right died and uh it's really anyone's game when it comes to these two it's a 50 50 and most of the mines are getting destroyed so it might come down to lava and if we're looking at it right now statistically oh no they're kind of tied up now actually the caveman regaining the high ground here now if i were an npc actually i don't want to say that if i feel like it, being an npc is a diss at this point if i were playing in this mini game myself i would definitely choose to be towards the middle because i feel like it's very very rare for bombs to hit more towards the middle than the outside but that's just my opinion i don't know from what i've seen oh we have a winner we have a winner and it's actually one of the npcs i wanted to win the caveman congratulations let me save him before anything bad happens you know i feel like it's kind of nice that the npc that makes it is the caveman which sort of came from like the prehistoric era and they survived a volcano so that's like that's very nice i feel like that just adds up so it makes sense why he survived congratulations to the caveman npc what's your name good sir rock and he says how i get home i scared of strange land well mr rock you're going to the npc olympics so you won't be going home anytime soon i'm sorry before we end off this video i just want to give a shout out to ali dav pudis whoever helped with this volcano mod shout out to all of them uh, i asked them to make me one and they came through and made one for this event specifically and it's probably one of the coolest events in the series minus racing i think racing is one of my favorite events but yes we will be moving on to the fourth and final contender round where one more npc will 
we'll be moving on to the NPC Olympics and then we will finish the NPC Olympics probably in like November, December is when I plan to do it. Maybe even earlier. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching the video. Check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash gamers101 if you want to see me stream some Terraria live. I've been having a lot of fun over there. We're trying to get partnered. So if I'm not uploading on my channel, you know where I'm at. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Shout out all the mods that are in this video. I'll see y'all next time.